Hi there. Today we'll be going over how to do a manual calibration on the point when using it in granular applications. Now ideally you want to be able to do this when you have the ability to move the level up and down. However, this isn't always possible. So for this tutorial, we're going to assume that you don't have the ability to move the level up or down. And whether you're using the line power version of the point or the two wire version, the steps are going to be the same. So for today's demonstration, we're going to be using a line power version of the point set in high level fail safe. You want to either set your mode to either mode 7 or mode 8. Mode 7 being standard sensitivity, mode 8 being high sensitivity. This particular unit is already set to mode 8 for high sensitivity because today we're going to be measuring sawdust, which has a low dielectric of around 1.3 and a bulk density of roughly 13 pounds per cubic foot. If you're not sure how to change the calibration modes on your point, be sure to check your user's manual or check out our tutorial on YouTube. Now to do the calibration, you're going to be using the sensitivity adjustment pot located on the electronics module. Full range of the pot is 25 turns. Each rotation of the pot changes the operating point by 4 picofarads in mode 7 or 1 picofarad in mode 8. Turning the adjustment clockwise will raise the level at which the relay operates or making it less sensitive. Turning the adjustment counterclockwise will lower the level at which the relay operates or making it more sensitive. Okay, so the first step in our calibration procedure is you're going to take your screwdriver and turn the sensitivity adjustment fully counterclockwise until the red LED turns on. Okay, now that the red LED has turned on, we're going to turn the, uh, the adjustment pot clockwise until the red LED just turns off. So it turns slowly and it turns off. And I'm going to go back again just to show this area right here is known as your trip point. So now we have it in the off position. Okay, now the next step in your calibration procedure, you're going to see a table shown on your screen in just a few moments. It shows that based on the bulk density of your material and whether you are in mode 7 or mode 8, it recommends the amount of turns past this trip point that your unit should be at. So on this chart, which can also be found in your user's manual, shows three columns. It breaks down process mediums based on bulk density, and then in the columns to the right, it recommends a certain number of turns you need to go past your trip point. So sawdust has a bulk density of about 13 pounds per cubic foot. So we'll go over to the row for granulars less than 20 pounds per cubic foot. Next, we go over to the column that represents our mode. In our demonstration, we are using mode 8. So for mode 8, it shows that we need to go an additional 3 quarter turns past our trip point. So now based on that chart, we saw that for sawdust, we're at about 13 pounds per cubic foot. On the chart, it says that should be an additional 3 quarters turn. So right now, we're at just the trip point where between alarm and non-alarm. So what we're going to do is take the adjustment pot and turn it an additional three quarter turn just based off of our chart. And calibration is complete. To make sure this is working correctly, raise your level up and down to make sure that the unit goes in and out of alarm as it should. Okay, so now that we've done our calibration, the last step is to make sure that our unit goes in and out of alarm properly. In our tank here, we have about 8 inches of sawdust, so we're just going to raise and lower our point and see if the unit goes into alarm. Take our unit. Go down. Goes into alarm just as it should when we're touching the material. We'll raise it out. And it comes out of alarm. So this means our unit is working properly and our calibration was done correctly. And that's all there is to it. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial.